All right, so we're starting our parabola selfie project. And you found parabolas in the real world. So I'm going to drag my copy in here. I chose the original McDonald's arch. So once you have your picture input into Desmos, uh, we're going to move it into the first quadrant via the center point. And we want to line up the beginning of our parabola because mine opens down. Uh, I'm lining it up with zero, zero. So I'm going to be doing mostly the outside of the McDonald's arch for my parabola. You do want to scale your picture to its original size. So mine is about 25 feet tall, so I'm going to have to move it over a couple times using the outside points to enlarge but keep the proportions. a little bit here. Until you get it just quite right. Almost there. So mine should be just about 25 tall. So I'm a little bit too tall here. And you just gotta adjust until you get your right dimensions. A little bit more. All right, there we go. And then, so the vertex or the highest point, my maximum in this case, uh, is about 25 feet high. I can follow that down about 13. So I'm going to put a point there. 13, comma 25. And just right at my vertex. So make sure you label so we can see the point on the graph. And this point is my vertex. We can read. The maximum, because my graph is opening down, so it has a high point, not a low point. All right. The second thing we need to do when finding our building our equation is find an additional point. So if I go to my graph. I have a point at about, should I have it at 1.7 from the example we did in class. So just finding a point on the outside of my McDonald's arch that follows a good point, not a decimal. I want something on the grid lines. So that would be at 1.7. Again, labeling. And you can see that that point is a pretty good point on my graph. Now that we have our two points, we are going to start to create our equations. We learned two different types of equations. We had standard form, which was y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and we had vertex form, which is y equals ax minus h squared plus k. And the easiest form to use when you're writing equations from a graph is going to be vertex form because we have that point. And remember that your vertex is h, k. So our vertex, or our top point, our maximum, is 13, 25. So now we know what h and k is. Um, the additional variables that are in our vertex form are y, a and x. We already know h and we already know k. So we can't solve anything when we have three unknowns. So the reason that we found an additional point, this 1, 7, is so that way we can plug in an x and a y. Remembering that all points are x comma y. Now we know x, y, we know h, k. The only thing that we don't know is the a. And that a value, remember, is 
going to tell you which direction your parabola opens. We can make a prediction right now that our a value is going to be negative because my parabola opens down. And then it's going to tell you how stretched or compressed your parabola is. And it gives it the shape of the u. So if it's compressed, if it has a wider shape, it's going to be a fraction that's between 0 and 1. Or if it's stretched and it's skinnier, then it would be a number greater than 1. And so we're going to solve for our a value by plugging in h and k and x and y. Give me a little bit more room here. All right, so now that we have all of our variables, h, k, x, and y, we have our vertex form written out, we are going to start plugging in our values. So y is 7 equals, the only thing we don't know is a. x is 1 minus h is 13 squared plus k, which is 25. All of our numbers came from the points that we identified, our vertex, and it helps to label each one of your values, h and k for the vertex, x and y for a point on our parabola. Now we're just going to use order of operations to solve and isolate the variable a. So parentheses first, 7 equals, we still have a, 1 minus 13 is negative 12 squared plus 25. It's important that your negative 12 stays inside the parentheses because negative 12 squared is different than negative 12 squared. One would give you a positive and one would give you a negative. So it's very important that we retain those parentheses. Next, after parentheses is exponents. So 7 equals a negative 12 times negative 12 is positive 144. Two negatives make a positive. Still have plus 25. Now I'm going to work to get the a by itself, so subtract 25 from both sides. Negative 18 equals a times 144. Undo multiplication with division. Now that we have a equals, we do want to reduce. So uh, both the numerator and the denominator are divisible by 18. So you are going to get negative 1 eighth when you reduce. Now that we have our a value, we can go back to the original vertex form and plug in just a, h, and k, and we will have our vertex form equation. So y equals a is negative 1 eighth, parentheses, x minus h is 13 squared plus 25. And that is our equation. So we're going to go back to Desmos and plug that in and see if it matches the shape of my McDonald's arch. So y equals negative 1 eighth times the quantity of x minus 13 squared plus 25. All right. And as you can see, my vertex matches. That's a good sign. It's going through the point that I chose, and it follows the general shape of the McDonald's arch. So it's a little bit off at the bottoms, uh, but, but that's because the point that I chose is a little bit higher up. I could have chosen 0, 0. Um, so choosing a couple of different points on your parabola will give you a little bit of a different equation and try to choose the one that gives the best fit of the shape. So I think this is a really good parabola. It follows mostly in the middle just to the outside and this gives us the shape of the McDonald's uh, original arch. Okay, to wrap up your project we covered several different sections of review today. We reviewed vertex, which is your highest or lowest point on your parabola. We reviewed maximum, 
because this parabola opens down. We talked about standard versus vertex form and when one is more useful than the other, uh, especially when writing equations. And then using Desmos to verify that your parabola matches your real-world example. So great job and go ahead and finish your selfie project.